Yo, what's up? Welcome back. This time we're gonna be running Roxy on Skull and Hadi. So I already did basically run her on like this team, but the difference is instead of Freya, I had Brunhild in the last squad, and that could be better. But I want to test out my Freya again because I did get an extra dupe for him. So his ult is just slightly more powerful. So that's why I decided, you know what? I'ma keep him instead of Brunhild this time. And let's see how well this would work. Because having an extra death ultimate would help in speeding it up. Even though I would I don't really think I would need much of a healing. Because for most part, we should be going through these phases very, very fast. I don't think it should be like keeping us back whatsoever by having Frey instead of Brunhild. And the heat for healing, we should not need it at all. I'm not gonna lie. The last time I've used Roxy, it was pretty good. So with the Relic currently, I'm expecting great things. Yeah, 315 turn 1. Amazing. That's actually crazy. So you already know like her damage now you can rely on it way way more the only thing is i wish i had like a better ultimate so we i could hit higher like numbers on her ults because when you're running stonar you you can pretty much get ultimates every three turns at that point it's pretty much guaranteed right so eskner and Ross is going to be like shooting through this very fast and prayer is here just for his ult so we can speed up certain phases especially like the phase two or three where i think it would be needed Because more than likely, we're going to finish like phase 3 of floor 1 with Escanor. I don't think we really need any other ult so we can like heal them up here. And just go through. Yeah, so this is... We are actually speeding through this floor 1. It's going crazy fast. And bro, Escanor not killing here actually surprised the fuck out of me. How was that even possible? I have no idea. That's the first time I probably think I've never killed with an Escanor ult. I don't know how that happened, honest to god. But still a very, very fast clear, so I don't feel bad at all. It's pretty fast. For the most part, this team feels like it's going to just farm like incredibly fast. Because having Roxy do that extra bit of like attack damage, it feels like you're having like a literal extra Escanor, like Escanor finger card in your team. Like look at that. Only Normally only Escanor would do that damage. And having one more unit that, that can actually hit those is insanely good for you. Like speed farming literally escanor like finger card again and while having the extra bit of damage you're almost guaranteed to clear these stages faster Now look at that that's an aoe that's aoe damage like she's insane i probably should have saved like roxy's ult here i don't think it was really needed but just clearing a little faster you know i'm gonna keep up the pace of like fast clearing floors i don't want to stick around on anything to take any bit of extra damage that i don't need to this is the only place i think i may have messed it up slightly because while you're running Freyr, you normally kill Black Dog first, and I I literally forgot, and I killed White. I should've just killed the Black Dog so no one gets frozen, because we can't really take debuffs from the White Dog. So that's why I think I may have messed up, and I slowed down the run slightly. This is going to cost me like a minute or two, just getting, getting through this last dog. Which is pretty unfortunate, because the pace at which I'm clearing this is kind of insane.
Yeah, so we just push the walls using Thonar and just get ready to like heal up and go through. We don't really need to heal Eskinar because he can be healed like in any other thing. As long as Roxy and Thonar has, has like decent HP, I think Frey can heal himself. We don't want Roxy being attacked or Thonar to be attacked. Like to already say like it's slower, but I'm under literally like six minutes and already done two stages. It's kind of it, that's kind of insane speed farming. So we just as long as we heal them up perfectly, we just go through. Yet another fast four. Yeah, so floor three, I didn't really see my damage really falling off. Like the consistency of Roxy's turn one damage is kind of insane. A literal, she's a duplicate of Escanor with that card. So having two Escanor finger cards is like, bro, you cannot go wrong with this. It's, it's just going to speed up your farming by like so much more. Like on floor one, we have for 315,000. Floor three, we have for 357. It's like, come on, that's Beep. insane. You can't forget about Freya. He's not a completely dead unit now. We don't have too many. Un He's the only unknown in the squad, but he's still like putting forward some good DPS. Also, what I really love is this right here. Escanor with Roxy. That extra bit of damage. Like two finger cards. And that's where phase two bar is. Bro, that's broken. That's so insane. Like you clear that shit like it's nothing. Roxy farming for dogs is definitely a huge plus. I didn't expect it to go this well. So I would say if you really want to... If you still have a lot of dog relics to get. Roxy is probably a must, bro. They're crazy fast. And the thing is, I don't really think you need like a high duped prayer for this either. Or you can even probably replace prayer with other units. It just might be slightly slow, but you still should be progressing through this insanely fast. Like Escanor is doing more damage. Roxy is doing damage comparable to Escanor, bro. You cannot go wrong with this team. This is amazing. So yeah, I highly recommend this. I highly recommend her for dogs. She's just too she's just too good for dog farming. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.